It is your boy, Mad Max. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to handle insecurity. This is a very relevant topic, I think, especially living with a disability, because it's something that I've had to manage, and I think I've done very well at managing, but just feeling insecure about your disability, I think it's relevant for anyone, but I think it's particularly relevant for those living with a disability. So before I get into it, first off, happy 420 to those who celebrate, and let me just talk briefly about Maximus Moves, my health and wellness coaching service for others living with physical disabilities. Living with muscular dystrophy myself, I know how hard it is to find purpose and direction in life. Are you held back by self-limiting beliefs, thinking you'll never have the social life you want, the love life you want, or thinking fitness is totally out of the question? With my heart, mind, and body method, you will soon realize nothing is holding you back. Think of me as your older brother and accountability partner with the mission to improve your mind, body, and soul. So if you or someone you know is currently living with a physical disability, book a strategy session with me in the description below and we will create a personalized workout and wellness plan catered to your personal needs to take back control of your life. If you also want to join my private Facebook group for other like-minded individuals who are also motivated to take back control of their lives, link is also in the description. So as the title of this video says, I'm going to be talking about insecurity and what to do when you are feeling insecure. Let me first read, I think, a very poignant and important quote about insecurity. There is no such thing as perfect security, only varying levels of insecurity. And that was by Salman Rushdie. And I think that that really captures insecurity because there are days that we all feel insecure about our looks, about our abilities, whatever it may be. And I think it's important to realize that everyone, even the most powerful, most beautiful, strongest people have insecurities. And obviously insecurity, a lot of it is comparing yourself to others and that really brings you down. But you have to realize that insecurity is something that is almost universal. There's always something that you will feel inadequate about. And as the quote I just read indicates, it's the varying degrees of feeling insecure. We might be feeling insecure about something very small or something very big. I think the big realization you have to have with feeling insecure is that it's something everyone experiences. And at the time when you're thinking that you're not good enough, that you're insecure about whatever it might be, you don't realize it, but that person over there might be feeling insecure as well. And I think that it makes you realize, and it almost humbles you to realize that people feel insecure. Someone across the street might feel insecure. Someone you might not know is feeling insecure. And you just have to realize that that happens from time to time. Rather than fight it and resist it, realize that first, you have that kind of insecurity. And that's human. As I said, it, it really humbles you to realize that insecurity is almost universal. And for those living with disabilities, you have to realize that don't be insecure about something that you have no control over. And I think that's where, even with people that aren't disabled, where they almost go crazy. Because there's certain things that you just can't change. I can't change the fact that I'm disabled, that I can't walk, that I'm in a wheelchair. And you just have to accept the parts of you that are not so pretty as well. Oftentimes on social media, we only see the most beautiful, attractive, happiest of people. But that doesn't necessarily reflect how that person might be feeling tomorrow or even a couple minutes from now. And you just have to realize that all that glitters isn't gold and that it is almost an illusion that someone's perfect, someone has the perfect body, that someone is 
really smart, really successful. And you just have to accept the uglier parts of yourself. And you have to love those as strongly as you love the so-called more beautiful parts of yourself. You have to learn to accept what you cannot change and love yourself anyway. I think this is a theme that I want to come back to again and again, and I think I have already on this channel, about self-love, realizing that you deserve good things to happen. You deserve a good life. Obviously, no life is perfect, but with what we've got, we have to do the best that we can. Before I continue in this video, I first want to talk about supplements. More specifically, supplements I use every day, whether it's creatine monohydrate to give me an extra boost in my workout or whey protein powder for my recovery. I swear by them and you should add them to your daily workout as well. Living with muscular dystrophy and taking steroids, I also need vitamin D3 to keep my bones strong and CoQ10 to keep my heart healthy. I also use lion's mane mushroom to keep my mind in check. If you're interested in adding these supplements, links are in the description below. Now back to the video. So before I continue, if you haven't already, like this video, comment, smash that subscribe button. All that support really helps. And I appreciate those that watch this channel loyally. I really love the support. You know who you are. My cousins in the pond across the way in Ireland, uh, some of my homeboys, uh, just people that I go way back. I really appreciate the support. So as I was saying, you have to accept the side of you that's insecure and better understand where that's coming from. I think a good thing to always remember is that everyone has insecurities to some extent. I have insecurities. Whoever is watching this, you definitely have insecurities. And we just have to accept that. We have to accept that there are parts of us that are not so pretty. We might think that it's not pretty, but maybe we don't know what other people think. Maybe a flaw in your eyes might be something that is beautiful and attracts people. You just don't know. And I think that's the main takeaway from this video, that we're all insecure to some extent, and we have to accept the parts of us that we don't necessarily find beautiful. And it's a long journey. I've been on this journey for a long time, and it's not going to happen overnight where you're just not as insecure. It happens with growth. It happens with realizing things about yourself, accepting parts of yourself that you never thought were possible to accept. A lot of times, characteristics and behaviors that we see in other people that bother us, bother us because we see ourselves doing those same exact behaviors. And it almost upsets us. And think about a time when that happened to you and realize, wow, maybe it's something that I'm really insecure about. Or that person is really loud and confident in their self. Why can't I be like that? And that's maybe why you don't necessarily like that individual. But going back to my points about self-acceptance and insecurity, first off, it's a process. It takes a really long time. It's not going to happen overnight. Second of all, people have insecurities, whether you realize it or not. And that's something that should humble all of us, that... At the end of the day, we are mortal. We are born and one day we're all going to die. Not to sound dark or anything, but you have to accept the realities of our existence. And I think that the first step is to acknowledge the insecurities that we have and try to fall in love with ourselves anyway. It's a process, but I know those watching that you can do it. I've been on this self-improvement journey and I believe that we could all improve ourselves and we can never stop improving. It's part of growing as humans. So comment, subscribe, like the video. And one last thing, as I've been bringing up 
in my most recent videos, more than 4 million people have been displaced by the violence and humanitarian crisis in Ukraine, with many fleeing neighboring countries. If you want to donate to United Way Worldwide, which is stepping up to provide relief and support for a lot of these refugees, donate. Link is in the description below. As I've said, United Way is the world's biggest privately funded nonprofit, and they have all sorts of things if you donate to your relief fund that you're helping, including transportation, shelter, food, and whatever medicine a lot of individuals fleeing the violence may need. So again, link is in the description. So please like, comment, subscribe for those partaking. Enjoy your 420. And it's your boy Max, over and out.